pass or fail in key points, what do you think? Let's say it's one inch pipe. How far are the hangers apart for one inch pipe? Eight feet. Very good. A lot of you have eight feet up. Now, here's the thing. So as an inspector, I'm looking at this and going, all right, there's one hanger on a super awesome hanging um, device, by the way. And if I took the measurement along the developed length of pipe to that super supporting hanging device, I'm pretty sure that's under eight feet. Me, because I never cared how much money it costs to install hangers when I'm doing work, I would have put one like right in there somewhere too. And I think some of you on screen would do that too. But when you become an inspector and you know that requirement, about how far hangers are really gonna be apart, which a lot of students taking exams right now are saying, wow, shit, they better know their hanging distances. If that's eight feet, that's all I can do. Cause it doesn't say anything about putting the hangers at every change of direction for steel pipe or copper tubing. It does for some other things like no hub pipe. When I'm hanging no hub cast iron, literally tells me how many hangers I gotta put on a corner, on three fittings, all that kind of stuff. But here it doesn't. Because some of you are going to end up inspectors someday. It is inevitable. Been teaching for 40 years. There's at least 20 inspectors out there in the Commonwealth that came to these classes. One of the things you're seeing is a vent here. Hopefully you know why that vent is there because that's a regulator. You're looking at two PSI natural gas. Two PSI is really coming in this way. And then after that regulator, it's kicked down to a half PSI. There's a rubber diaphragm or a neoprene diaphragm right under there. If you can't tell, that's why it's so big. Because you have the pressure from the natural gas on one side of the diaphragm. And then you have atmospheric pressure on the other side. And that's how everything is being regulated through a little bit of an adjustment under that blue cap. Why is this vent above that high? Because... The plumber in this case is paying attention to when it's January. In the summer, you need to be thinking about snow. You have to have that situational awareness that if snow piled over that regulator vent, the regulator is not going to work right. And there's a lot of people that do not know that kind of stuff. Don't realize that units aren't operating like they're supposed to because they're not getting the gas they're supposed to because the regulator is compromised or it gets water in it, gets snow over the opening on the regulator, the vent opening to feel atmospheric pressure. The sun comes out, melts some ice, water drops into the top of the diaphragm. Now all bets are off. Oh, the unit's no good. You got to get a crane and rip it off the roof. And all the time, it's like some person that didn't have common sense, that has a license, doesn't know how things work. That really sucks. And it costs people money. In this situation, how you know, like the direction of flow is going towards a regulator. Do you have to put like the directional arrows on them on the, for the label? No, you do not. It's a good question. Notice one thing. Right down here, you're seeing two PSI natural gas. Down here, you don't, but it's still painted yellow. So the pipe is being protected from corrosion, but the yellow indicates that we have some type of elevated pressure. As you're more and more well-schooled, you're looking at two PSI here. You're seeing a shutoff valve here. You're seeing the regulator there, which means... The gas is feeding that way by virtue of the placement of the regulator. Again, you can't say anything about the pipe being yellow, even though it indicates to all of us that shit, that pipe is yellow in compliance with the code. That tends to mean elevated gas pressure, but in this case, the plumber is protecting it from corrosion. Would we all rather have seen somebody use maybe gray? Had some plumbers use pink because they know I would say something about that because they also know that it's all about protecting the piping outside, exposed to the elements from corrosion. But no, what is it doesn't have down there? It's not labeled at all. And as a plumber, as a gas fitter, you're supposed to know that the reason that's there is because it's kicking it down to low pressure, less than a half PSI. 
less than 14 inches water column. The whole idea is you like are able to look at a picture like this, that if you see it on an exam, or better yet, if you see it on a job site, you can tell the direction of flow without any arrows. In anything you do, you should be able to do that just by looking at how things are set up. It takes a little bit of time to develop that kind of situational awareness, but you can do it. And you have to want to do it. And that's what we're trying to get you to do. So it's a good question. It's a scary question, but it's a good question. It's a good question from somebody learning who's just learning about all this stuff and doesn't understand completely. But the key components here are the labeling, that shutoff valve, that regulator, that vent. Those are the key points. That was a pass. 